Fellas, this is going to be the quickest buying guide, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let's get right into it. So first thing, 2008 Takio Turismo. Yes. Why? It's cheap. Sleeper. And honestly, 4.2 seconds acceleration is pretty good for the price tag. Moving on. The 2021 BPM W30 slash W30 Wagon New Trim Z, aka the CS in real life. It's very fast. And honestly, I would say it's just as fun as any of the other M3s. So yes. Yes from me. Now, the combi say this is good. This is surprisingly good. If you can get past the appearances, it's fun, it's decent value, and it's still kind of fast. 0 to 60, 3.3 seconds for people who care. That's on the force trim. Honestly, quite nice. I would enjoy. And now for the 2024 Simple Atmos, it's amazing. You've got the highest horsepower of 1,234. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pretty funny. Top 0 to 60 is about 1.74 seconds for $250,000. It's actually kind of a plaid and maybe a Lusso rival. It's fast. That's one thing I gotta say about it. Lower trims are also great daily drivers. Now the thing is, the Vision Dominator is okay. It's not a bad car. It's got good off-roading. It's got, you know, the yellow, the amber fog lights, which I think is pretty unique on the car. It's pretty good, but not really the best of value, so I'd guess yes. And for the Century Major, this is really up to you. The Land Cruiser is cheaper, and most trims have the same stats, excluding the hybrid ones. So really, your choice. As for the 2025 Toscani Rio Grande or the Hyundai Santa Fe, I don't really know. It's a nice RP car and the off-road trim does offer a little bit of kick to it, but like the Nissan Pathfinder, it kind of falls short. Oh no, something missing about it, but for the electrified version, it's got a little bit more. You, I'd lean towards the PHEV trims, also because they're PHEV. Actually, I don't even know what that means, but to summarize, most of these update cars, or basically all of them, are pretty good, so yeah, that's about it. See you later.